There's actually been a severe lack of Titan builds on this channel, so we're gonna be changing that today, because today we're gonna have a Titan build for the Void Prismatic Titan using the brand new Mask of the Quiet one. This thing got changed with Revenant, and now it's actually one of the best boy Titan exotics that you can actually run. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the new buff, and we're also gonna be making a build around it. Now this build is gonna be all about just weakening a bunch of enemies, spamming our abilities, and also just having constant devour. All that will still keep in the main thing that the Prismatic Titan is all about, which is that Consecration. Now the main thing that we're gonna need for this build is pretty much just gonna be the Mask of the Quiet one, that is like the only hard requirement, so as long as you have that, you're gonna be able to make this build work, and pretty much take full advantage of this build. Now before we get into any of that, I actually do have a bit of an announcement though. If you're watching this video the day it goes live, I might be live on Twitch, 9pm Eastern, playing some trials, and also giving away some Dusty Rising Alpha Codes. So if you guys are trying to give Dusty Mobile a try, then head over to my Twitch, and you'll have a chance at actually getting one of the keys. But anyways, now let's get into it, and let's start off with this build. So first we gotta start with a exotic piece of armor, the Mask of the Quiet one. And now it gives you ability energy whenever you take some damage. And when you have a Void Super Equip, Rapid Final Blows or Final Blows where you're critically wounded will give you the power. This helmet is now basically designed for you to be like the front line, always fighting things, always taking a lot of damage. Uh, the power is going to keep you alive. And all that damage that you're taking helps recharge your abilities so you can use them more often. So you can pretty much just always stay there in the front line, just fighting enemies. It is fantastic and the amount of survivability you get with this, it is just out of this world. Now for the weapons that you want to pair this up, I recommend that you go with one of the exotic pulse rifles. Either the Graviton Lance or the Collective Obligation are both going to be really good, but I definitely lean a little more towards the Graviton Lance. I really like the Graviton Lance with this build, not only because it's just a really good weapon for ad clear, but also because it pairs up perfectly with our AoE Weakening Blast. Whenever we pick up a Void Breach, our next shot is going to weaken a big group of enemies. And with the Graviton Lance, as soon as you kill one of those enemies, essentially the whole group is just going to disappear. They're all going to be weakened, so they're going to take more damage. And the Graviton Lance explosions just do a lot of damage, just normally. So it's pretty much guaranteed that a whole group is just going to disappear. And they're also going to create more Void Breaches, which is going to give you, again, more weakening shots, so you can just keep weakening targets. And that kind of just turns like the Graviton Lance into like the ultimate weakening at clear weapon. Now this is also going to work pretty well with Collective Obligation if we have that. Uh, it actually works better as a weakening weapon than the Graviton Lance. But it also doesn't have as much at clear potential as the Graviton. But for sure you can keep up the weaken just a lot longer. Now for your other weapon slots, I would definitely recommend you some grenade launchers. It's the season of the grenade launcher for a reason. So I would recommend a Lost Signal, and for the heavy slot, it can really just be whatever you want. As long as it's a heavy grenade launcher, it'll do pretty good. Now for a super, we're running the Twilight Arsenal. It's a really good super, and it also is pretty much a requirement for our math to actually work for the second effect. So you pretty much have to have it on. Now for the class ability, you don't really have to go with a specific one. You can go with Towering, Rally, the Thruster. I was on Thruster just because I like running that, but you don't really have to have like a specific one on. Now for your melee, we are going to be on the Frenzied Blade, and this is pretty much used so we can have those three melee charges. That is pretty much it. After that, we're going to be on the Suppressor Grenade. This is going to apply Weaken as well, so this is another way that we're going to weaken targets. And every time that we get a kill with the Suppressor Grenade, that's a guaranteed uh, Void Breach. So that's another way of also getting some more Void Breaches. Now for the Aspects, we're going to have some pretty standard Titan things. We have Consecration. I'm sure you guys already have heard many times where Consecration is good. And that's pretty much something that we're keeping with this build. And we also have Knockout as well. Which again, pairs up really well with Consecration. This is going to increase some melee damage as well as give us some health back whenever we get some melee kills. We don't really care too much about the health back this time around. Since we are going to have Devour pretty much all the time. But the extra damage is still going to be pretty nice with the Consecration. Now moving on to the Fragments. We're going to be starting with the Facet of Protection. This will give you some damage resistance while you're surrounded by combatants. It's 15% at base and 25% whenever you activate Prismatic. And this one is just going to be pretty good. We pretty much want to be in the front line in the action pretty much all the time with this build. So you definitely want that extra damage assistance so you can tank a bit more damage. After that we're going to have the Facet of Command. Freezing or suppressing a target. Reloads your equipped weapons and increases your weapon stability, aim assist and airborne effectiveness. And whenever we defeat a frozen or suppressed target, 
we're gonna create stasis shards or void breaches. This is what gives us that guaranteed void breach whenever we get a kill with our grenade, and also use suppressing something with a grenade will also reload our weapons, which is a pretty nice little bonus on top of it. After that, we're gonna have the faster awakening, rapidly defeating targets with light or darkness damage or super final blows, generates an elemental pickup of the matching type. This is gonna be another thing that's gonna help us get void breaches, especially because the graviton is just so good at getting moot kills and rapidly defeating targets that use defeating the group pretty much always guarantees a void breach. After that, we're gonna have the faster dominance, and this is what lets our grenade weaken on top of suppressing. And the last fragment that we have is going to be the fast out of purpose. Whenever we pick up an orb of power, we gain over shields. It basically gives us like half of an over shield every time we pick up an orb. And the over shield pretty much just gives us even more damage resistance. As long as we have that over shield, we're going to have a pretty high amount of damage resistance. The shields get buff uh, back in final shape. And after that, they have been pretty good. The over shield is no joke. The only downside with the over shield is that it doesn't last as long as some of the other like buffs like Woven Mail or Frost Armor those usually last like 10 seconds while the Overshield just lasts for 5. So that's like the only downside. Besides that it gives you a bit of extra health and also some damage resistance. Now for the artifact we're gonna have the good old grenade launcher mods, rapid impacts, overload grenade launcher, concuss reload. And we have two grenade launchers so we can take advantage of both of these with both the grenade launchers, at least most of them. Uh, the overload will only affect the breach loaded, but the other two should affect both of our grenade launchers. And then the other important mods that you definitely want to run as well are going to be Supernova, Surf Cold, as well as Power From Pain. Power From Pain is going to give us another way of getting Devour by rapidly defeating weakened targets, but we pretty much just want it for the boosted version of the perk, which makes us whenever we defeat weakened targets, we spawn a Void Breach. And this just gives us more way of spawning those Void Breaches, since they're so integral to the build, we definitely just want to keep spawning them over and over again. Surf Cool is going to give us some melee energy whenever we pick up some Void Breaches, so we can spam our Consecration a little more. And lastly, Supernova, which is like the main part of the build. Whenever we pick up a Void Breach, causes our net target of Void Damage to create a large Weakening Pulse. And since we have so many different ways of creating Void Breaches, we're just constantly going to be proccing Supernova. Now, it doesn't seem like there's a cooldown in between like proccing supernovas. I definitely felt like I could proc it just over and over again as long as there was enough void breach around to actually proc it. But I did notice that sometimes it doesn't pop on the side as an actual buff that you have. So if you pick up a void breach and you don't see it on the side, don't worry because as long as you fire it, it should still apply the weakening buff, even if it doesn't show it there. But yeah, this is a big part of the build, it's essentially what keeps giving us weaken, so we can keep just weakening targets. Groups of enemies, big enemies, you single enemies, you know, you get to have so many of them, that sometimes I would just weaken one enemy, just because I could. But yeah, you gotta be getting so much supernova, and essentially always just putting weaken on targets. And that's without even counting the weaken that you're gonna be able to apply to some of the bigger enemies with your grenade launcher. So, our supernova is gonna be used for general a uh, weaken of just normal adds and our concuss reload is gonna be for those bigger enemies so we can always have a debuff on pretty much everything now let's get on to the mods that we're in on this build and first of all for the helmet we have harmonic siphon so we can make some more power with our graviton and we also have heavy ammo finder as well as heavy ammo scout so we can help our teammates get some heavy and also we can get some heavy ourselves now for our gauntlets we have grenade kickstart so we can get our grenade back faster fastball so we can throw our grenade farther away and also momentum transfer, whenever we do some damage with our grenade, it's gonna reduce our melee cooldown. For our chest piece, we have some pretty normal stuff, we just have resistances, so you can pretty much change these how you see fit. Now for the boots, we're gonna have invigoration, absolution, and recuperation. You could actually ditch recuperation if you feel just comfortable enough to use run devour for something like orbs restoration. Basically, all of these are just so we can get our abilities back faster by picking up orbs power. And lastly for our class item, we're going to have Bomber, Outreach, and also Reaper, so we can get our abilities back faster, and also make more Orbs of Power, so we can get more Overshields, and also get our Super back faster, as well as proc our Grenade Kickstart. So all of that we're going to be making with Orbs, so we definitely want some Orbs. And with that, that's actually going to be the end of the build. You pretty much know everything that's required with this build. And like always, I'm going to leave a dim link in the description, as well as the comments in case you guys want to check out this build. 
If you guys do end up checking it out, make sure you guys come back here and just tell me what you guys thought about it or if you made any changes that more fit your playstyle. I always want to hear about those as well. I definitely really like this build. Just the amount of weakened and debuffs you can put out there is just ridiculous. We'll still be able to use Consecration and have just some crazy survivability with the Devourer. I just love having Devourer in every class and this helmet just makes it so easy to pretty much just have constant Devourer on the Titan. No matter what, you are always going to have just constant Devourer. The only time the area runs out is when you don't really need it, when there's like no enemies around. But as soon as the enemies appear, then a couple kills can get you the power again, and then you restart the process of just basically getting a bunch of health, as well as a bunch of grenade energy, and it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful build, I'm sure you guys will like it, and just tell me what you guys thought about it in the comments below. But with that, we're going to end today's video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, hopefully you guys liked it, hopefully you guys check out the Twitch as well and join us tonight, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all for stopping by. Thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, the, su the support has been amazing lately. So once again, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Peace.